Welcome to the homeowner series on the Square Farms map in FS17. Today we will be putting the speedboat in the water. We will be building a truck port, buying a skid steer, and doing a few other things around the property. In the last video we did mow our lawn with a John Deere 1025R. Before we put it away I do want to give it a quick wash down here with the pressure washer. Mowing our lawn does take a little bit of time because of how big it is, just over 5 acres of land. We'll uh, mow the deck and we'll get the pressure washer hooked up there and uh, we got the bottom of the deck cleaned. I really do like that quick attach uh, for the hose and it just uh, washes out the bottom of the deck. Alright, that looks to be good and we'll bring this back over to the pole barn. And I think let's first put the speedboat in the water to kind of get it out of the way and I will take it on its first sea trial since buying it. We just purchased a truck port there and now we do have to actually build the base for it today as well as a few other things. So, so many things to do which is exciting. That truck port will be a uh, 4 hour uh, 6-0 power stroke right there. Alright, let's head over to the marina and put the speedboat in the water. Many of you guys really did like that I did purchase this speedboat and I do want to incorporate more boats here into uh, the FS19 series. The homeowner series is very popular here on the channel for both FS17 and 19. It's pretty awesome to record these videos and I cannot wait to bring you guys more of these videos. When we do get back to the house, I do want to wash down the truck and the trailer. I really uh, do not want to back this uh, truck into the salt water, but it's the only vehicle we have that can really tow this big of a boat. The F-150 probably could, but it's uh, much safer to tow it with a heavy uh, truck. My day is going good so far, and I hope all of yours is as well. Here at the marina we do have three slips for the jet ski, the 21 foot boat and uh, this speedboat and I actually was able to get one uh, kind of big uh, area for it so they did move our boats around which actually is pretty good for us. I really do like having the concrete a boat ramp here. It's a little bit easier than having the dirt, and sometimes the traction is a little bit slipperier, so we do have to be a bit careful, but overall, it is a little bit better than even a gravel ramp. And the truck won't be going in the water too much anyways. Awesome, so we got the boat backed in. Let's get it fired up. We'll take it for a quick spin, and then we'll get it docked and head back to house. So many things to do today, and all these homeowner videos, we always have a lot of things to do. Wow, the boat sits very nice in the water as well, and perfect. We'll take it here for a quick spin. Really nothing too fancy, too fast, anything, just making sure uh, no problems. Now, let's kind of get it backed in here. Now, you guys can see we have our own little section, which is good, which is uh, awesome as well to have at the marina. So we'll get this backed in, and we don't want to go too far back. That looks awesome. Take a look at our dock. Uh, our three uh, boats are here. Wow, that looks pretty cool. So we got it tied down. Let's head back to the house. I really do like the look here of this GMC a Denali Dually. It actually just came to uh, FS19, which is cool. Probably uh, we'll be doing some videos uh, in that game with it, but more than likely uh, we'll feature a lot more here in 17. I really do want to get these uh, daytime running lights turned on. Whoa, those are pretty nice.
FS17 does feature different mods and different features and FS19 is the same way so I really do like featuring both here on the channel. I might do a few throwbacks to FS15 since I've been getting a lot lately. That would be a pretty cool thing to do uh, going back to that game and doing a video. This summer is pretty cool and we just started featuring Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 Forza Horizon and Spin Tires back on the channel for the second video. So hope all of you guys are enjoying those as well. I can't wait to get back into all of those including Forza with Dream Cars. So if you have any cool cars you guys would like uh, me uh, or cars that you guys like, uh, let me know when I could feature them in a video. Now I do want to get the GMC washed really quick before you kind of get it parked up. I'm really excited to have this uh, truck port, and it's going to come in very handy. I really do want to get the uh, undercarriage of this kind of washed down the most, and that looks pretty good. So now we'll just put the boat trailer in uh, the pole bar, and we'll probably find a different location for it, or probably reorganize at a later time. And we'll keep the Denali back there, since so we'll be buying a Bobcat skid steer today. More than likely, I do want to kind of switch this position with the 21-foot uh, boat trailer. That way, this isn't exactly here in the center, but uh, for now, we'll just kind of get it backed in. Perfect. We'll get it disconnected, and we'll just get this attached to the trailer, but we'll leave it here. We won't be going really quick. I want to do some other work around the property first. Let's see if the uh, Massey Ferguson fires up here. I do like this tractor quite a lot. It is old, but it does the job for us, which is awesome. We'll get attached here to the roller. Now, this app does use the ground modification mod. And I really do like it quite a lot. It looks awesome. And let me know, guys, should we remove this gravel path or shrink it? I think it's a little bit too big. And maybe if we make it smaller, it might be better. But for now, we'll come over here and let's uh, get rolling out uh, the area here. Perfect. And we need it to remove the grass. And that's good there. What I actually want to do is to bring it right to the uh, cement slab here. I think that would look good. Yeah, that would. We definitely have to do some touch-ups here trying to get the lawn to regrow, but for now I think that actually looks awesome. That's good there, so why don't we get this tractor parked up and we'll keep the roller inside. It is a pretty heavy roller for a small tractor, but it does a job and having the loader on the front is uh, good for balancing. We'll get the uh, trailer attached here, and we'll get the Denali turned back on while the 6.0 is warming up. But we haven't really been using this truck lately, but I do have some pretty big plans for it. Probably build it out with custom wheels, a lift kit, and things like that. So let me know if uh, we should do uh, something like that for this, or buy a different truck. But whoa, this will fit in here no problem. That's perfect. And let's see the size. Yeah, that. That looks pretty nice in here. And now more than likely, we'll bring the uh, snow plow and just put it at the back of it. I think that would be nice. But whoa, you guys can see nice truck port. Let's go get the skid steer. The last thing we have to do today. So many different things we are doing. And I really do like how we are just so busy with uh, the homeowner series. Taking care of the house. And we do buy quite a lot of cool things as well. The Bobcat I have decided to buy is the Bobcat 863. It is one of the smaller Bobcats they do make, and I think that's all we really need, especially having a 1025R and the Massey Ferguson. 
and we could probably uh, take out the F-150 uh, soon. I don't think we really needed the dually, but why don't uh, we use this? And you guys can see great trailer. I really do like this one quite a lot. And we are arriving here at the score. Now, I do see a bucket out front, but ours does come here with a bucket. There it is way back here. Now, this is a brand new one. I decided to get brand new. That way, uh, we can really take good care of it and we'll keep it for a long time. we we'll put the ramps down. Get it fired up. Now, we did get the beacon light up top as an option. We could take it off easily as well. I really do like this Bobcat quite a lot. The size of it is perfect, especially for owning a house. I mean, this thing will come in very handy. And we do have some pretty big projects coming up, and I really do wish we could strap uh, equipment down, but that actually just came to FS19 recently, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and some of the uh, skid steers are now able to strap down, so cannot wait uh, to use that feature in the new game. If you do have any cool video ideas here for me, please let me know down below. I really do enjoy using your feedback to help improve the channel and the daily content. And I also do recommend you turn on the post notification so you do not miss a new video. We are now uploading two videos a day here during the summer months. I really enjoy uploading uh, YouTube videos and it's a lot of fun to me. And I appreciate all of the positive feedback and support. It almost feels like there's nothing on it, the trailer. I mean, this uh, Duramax Dually really is a nice trailer. And what I'm thinking is we'll probably just leave it on the trailer for now, and uh, we might go buy a few attachments or a few other things for it, but we'll be putting this to work probably in the next video, which should be nice, and we'll also rent attachments from the rental store. Coming up soon, we will be building some mulch beds here at the front of the property. I don't really like the grass growing right along the fence anyways, and I think having a nice mulch right along the uh, fence line would be a very nice thing to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's very busy homeowner series video, uh, putting the boat in, doing the truck port, a few other things, and uh, buying this Bobcat Skid Steer. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for next video, and subscribe for more.